Welcome to the NASCAR YouTube Cup Series, Season 1, Race 14. We're back at Daytona International Speedway for the Coke 0400. Our regular field of driver sisters competing on this racetrack, about 26 of them, are here to compete, but only one knows they'll take the Trek of Fire here today. No new drivers today, but we'll take a look at some drivers for what's wrong before we start this race. Out of all the drivers, Chris supposed to start some pole for this race. I don't even know how, but he has a very fast car in qualifying. He's still in the playoff bubble. If he can make it in by points, he'll be a second playoff appearance. But remember, he, went, he made the club back in 2016 with winner Pocono. He's only get a second career win today. Can he do it today at Daytona, the biggest track of the season? Right next to him, Cameron Perkins last time he came here won the Daytona 500. He's looking to sweep both Daytona races. The last time he did it was Jimmy Johnson back in 2013 when he won the Daytona 500 and the Coke 0400. So can he be the, another driver to do it again today? Eric Jones won last week at the Pokemon Access Baby after the rain shortening race. There's no rain today, so we're definitely sure. Can he go back to bed? But he starts in the back with Kyle and Peggy and Truex and Chelsea and Belle and Denny and the old Toyotas. I mean, how the hell did the old Toyotas get here? Only two of them at the front, so I don't know what happened, but that's just completely weird. I don't know how that happened. And now it's time to command Farley's engines. And now it's command of Farley's engines here at the Daytona National Speedway. We'll take a look at your race back for this race. As our pace car will start taking the field onto the racetrack. And to hear your race facts for this race, 36 drives as usual, 5 laps as usual, 0% chance of rain, for real this time, like usual. Chris Buescher on pole for this race. And we're about ready to get this list started. And now seeing the green flags that we are underway from Daytona. Coming out of turn two, Fisher and Cameron side by side for the lead coming out of turn two. Mark McDowell is making an outside lane because you know he has to he may want to win this race because he's only out he's outside the bubble right now, so you never know, he could win. Well, Blaine just shoved Joe to go on the outside lane. Make room, Mass McDowell's going the inside. But thank goodness Joe to doesn't need to worry because Mark McDowell's coming up fast. Meanwhile at the front, Chris Bush has taken the lead away from Cameron Perkins. Now we're riding on board in the first seven car, Chris Busher, as he'll come on to the front track to lead that one straight. Oh, trouble behind them! I think that was payback from what Bright Blaney did to Jerry. Jerry lost to Rick Blaney, I think. They also collected Kevin Harvick as well, who was spinning for the infield. So hopefully he doesn't have hit road like he did last year. Well, actually no. What happened last time he came here? And there goes Chase Elliott as well. Looks like Brad Slavsky's also collected as well. Looks like a few races have found themselves on the outside to avoid this wreck. Looks like Chase said again is involved. Carl Larson, Varland, Bubba Wallace, Daniel Henrik and Christopher Bell look to be involved as well in this other wreck. Looks like Austin Dillon's around as well. Looks like Ryan Priest and Kurt Busch look to be involved as well. And sure enough, Austin Dillon is involved collecting Ryan Priest and Kurt Busch. I don't know if Travis would be involved, but hopefully he isn't. Looks like Eric Carmel and Kevin Havoc also collided as well in pit road, so this race is going to get crazier now. Looks like William Byron may have got a bit of damage in that one, but looks like he'll be able to continue. William is saying he's the only car who may have just damage. I mean, look at everyone else who got involved. I mean, you've got big heavens there, like, like Kevin Harvey. He was just spin on, and Eric Carmel just ploughed into him. Ryan Blaney, I mean, all oh, Pinky's right there. I mean, Blaney, Joey, and Brad. How obvious is that? So you had Chase, Ryland, Carl Larson, Daniel Henrik is first DNF, Bubba Wallace, Christopher Bell, Austin Dillon, the Daytona 500 win from 2018 gets collided, Ryan Priest, and Kurt Busch. They are all out of this race. Thank goodness the rest of the pack slowed down and stopped just in time. Truex may have a bit of damage, but he'll be able to continue with William Byron, who also survived it. Ty Dillon and David Reagan also, thank goodness, slammed on the brakes. So we'll figure out what happened, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Daytona 
Texas National Speedway as we've got a 16 car pileup containing Kevin Harvick, Eric Amarola, Ryan Blaney, Judah Gunner, Brad Kostowski, Chase Elliott, Ryland, Kyle Larson, Daniel Hemmick, Bubba Wallace, Christopher Bell, Austin Dillon, Kurt Busch, Ryan Priest, Mandrick Jr. and finally William Byron. And they, lots of these guys will be out, but William and, Ch Ch um, and Martin will be able to continue. Remember, Mandrick Jr. is the last cut in the playoff. This is not what he needed to make it in, because the driver who he's going against right now, Michael McDowell, he's now, he got, he is now fourth right now, and got some stage points as well, so that's not going to help Truex. He has to gain up some spot with two laps to go in this race, so we're going to have to find out and see what happens. So Chris Busch will pick up the stage win. He will be first, along with Cameron Perkins, Matt DeBerdello, Michael McDowell, as we said before, and uh, Daniel Suarez, stop by for him. Ricky Senos Jr., that's much needed for him. That's sixth place, actually a career-best points finish. Pit boy seventh, Ryan Newman finally made out of a wrecking got eighth. Ty Dillon ninth, and David Reagan tenth, my goodness me. Here's the rest of the field, Jimmy Johnson eleventh, Riley twelfth, Kyle Bus thirteenth, Eric Jones fourteenth, Tyler Eric fifteenth, Alex Bomber sixteenth, Peggy Bishop seventeenth, Denny Hammond eighteenth, Paul Mandel nineteenth, and Chelsea Lillard rounds out your top twenty. And the last car who's possibly gonna finish this race, maybe. So as Clear continues, let's go back to another quick commercial break. Woo! 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 And now Denny Hammond's back! 
wants to play style new at Daytona. So congratulations to Denny Hammond and congratulations to Lone Only Rocker Racing once again. That was two wins in a row. And Denny Hammond gets his second win of the season. That may put him in the points lead right now and give him lots of momentum. Speaking on the points list, we'll take a look at them right now. And so here are your points stands after race 14 up Daytona. Denny Hammond will now take for the point lead. There's two wins, but he's not the points leader. Kyle Busch is the points leader still. But only by nine points. Matthew Meadow got lots of points today. He can't get any state points. See here, Ty Biggs for fifth plate. That'll go to Daniel Smith, and he got a better position. Still, this one is. Chris Busch will take 40 for win now. He's very secure now in points. He may make it in. But look at this point. Big point implications by Michael McDowell and Kyle Larson. But he's not too far away. Two points separate the car off line by Michael McDowell to it. And there's Ty Dillon, he's back there. Look at Chelsea, she moved up to 19 points today, so she may have a chance to cut her out. So that will conclude the race here at Daytona's Nuff Speed, when you see Denny Hammond in victory lane right now, celebrating. So next week we're not going to be going to Dallas Nuff Speed because of some way. We'll be going to Disney Landmark Speed because that was one of the races used in the County Cup Series, but now it's going to be used in the YouTube Cup Series. Now let me just tell you something quickly before we end this video off. When I was filming this, some rude comments came in in my latest video. If you guys are watching this, look out because I think I'm going to be a bit mad at you now. And maybe some things will happen to you. But, nonetheless, just don't feel like it. But, next we'll be going to this level of speed where I hope you enjoyed this one. It's probably one of the best races I've done in ages. I told you I'll finish this one for sure this time. Again, sorry what I did last week. But, well... The race. So this may count for people one side now. Make sure to turn that notification bell on. Don't miss any more of my content. This may count for people one side out. Goodbye guys.